Hello everyone, this is the Cool Geek and in this video I'm going to cover how to fix a particular range in 4 variations. Obviously the 4th variation is a default which basically we do it and then move forward for the rest of the 3 variations. I'm going to by, uh, begin by saying equal to and say B4 and then uh, the first variation is obviously by pressing F4 if you want to fix a range. Um, this will fix both the columns and the row by adding a dollar in front of it. Now once I say enter, if I drag the formula down and towards the right hand side, the formula will remain B4 for all the cells. I can confirm that by pressing uh, the control tilde to get you all the formulas within that cell. Now this basically fixes all the, uh, uh, both the columns and rows. The second variation by pressing F4 twice and that is done by again selecting H4 and I press F4 once that fixes both columns and rows. When I press the F4 second time, this time it only fixes the row. So basically if I do enter right now and uh, select the copy the cells down, uh, the row will remain the same. But what happens when I do copy the cells towards the right hand side, um, it basically now takes this value because uh, it, it is changing uh, the, let me just show you. So it's basically changing uh, the column uh, but not the row. You, you'll see that the row will remain the same across all cells but what will only change is column H to I word that back by pressing control tilde so that's the second variation where the row is only fixed let me do the same thing again for b12 this time i'll press f4 thrice and this time it will only fix the column uh, as uh, you know compared to the before uh, version it's only fixing the column drag the cells down rows can change uh, if you go, you will be able to see that B12 becomes B13, 14, and 15, 16. But if I copy it towards the right hand side, um, they will remain the same because the columns is uh, the column is fixed. Now uh, the fourth variation is away again, uh, basically cutting back to uh, the same variation that we initially begin with. So you press F4 once, twice, thrice and the fourth time it comes back to the or original state. So uh, let me just complete that and this will basically give you the cells as it is present in all the cells that is here. Uh, thank you for watching. In the next video I'll cover a uh, little bit variations of how we can use the fixing a range within Excel.